Hi, good morning everyone. This is Chris from Chris Humble Vlogs on YouTube. Uh, I'd like to welcome you all to my channel and uh, my very first uh, live stream uh, practice. Um, I'm gonna, I want to get ready so um, when I'm ready to live stream, um, I, I kind of know what I'm doing and I'm a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. Um, I suffered from severe, severe stage fright and uh, it was really hard for me to uh, be in front of the camera to start with. And um, even when I was in theater, I, I it was so hard to go on stage just for, even for the smaller roles that I played, like a cameo or whatever. Uh, it was just, it was really hard to get on, on stage because I was terrified. Um, but uh, I'm starting to warm up. Uh, I, I need to, you know, just have more practice talking off script. So um, in this, this episode here, uh, I want to just talk about my construction experience exactly. Uh, I've been in construction for quite some time now. Uh, I started when I was 15 years old as a sprinkler fitter in fire protection. Um, I did that for one summer uh, between uh, my grade 10 and 11 years, I think, in high school. It was fantastic. Um, yeah, back then, it was old school. Um, I was working for old school journeyman. And, um, you know, I, I was just thrown into a harness and put on a lift, and uh, was, there you go. I was up and down on a, a huge uh, scissor lift myself, and, uh, uh, you know, demolitioning uh, eight inch mains and other, uh, you know, uh, four and two inch uh, lines, and uh, then installing new ones. Um, at first, yeah, I was working with um, the journeyman. They, you know, they gave me a few rundowns, but uh, after that, I was just doing straight demo, and of course, they were doing the installs behind me. Um, so it was uh, very, very interesting. It, uh, I thought it was really cool. Um, I made a really, really good money for somebody my age. Um, and yeah, I, so you know, when I went to went back to school um, that year. Uh, like I said, I was always building sets and doing things for um, theater, and um, I, I really, really, really wanted to go back to construction. Um, when I went to college and I studied uh, marketing and business, um, I, I, I was going to be an electrician, so I don't know how I ended up in business school, but I did. And um, uh, when I was in school, I was working for... Um, the government of Parks Canada is, uh, in their maintenance group, so uh, we do a lot of repairs on the on the water lift locks for the boats, and uh, uh, so the first time I, I welded, and uh, uh, it was uh, pretty neat. So um, my my, uh, my my renovation home renovation experience uh, started, you know, my with my father, you know, growing up. Uh, he's always had houses that he was flipping, so um, I got to work with a bunch of different crews, uh, helping them as much as I could and learning as much as I could. Um, but when I first, first went out, out on my own, I uh, was in college and uh, I was just doing renos for uh, a lady who was a realtor. And it was a really cool setup because I was able to live in these houses for free while I was in school. I uh, just had to, you know, paint them, renovate them. Um, it was a really awesome deal. So. Uh, yeah, I, so I went and I finished school and uh, I moved to Toronto and in Toronto I worked for a couple of contractors doing, um, you know, doing commercial renovations at stores like uh, TIs and stuff like that, um, but I also did multi-million dollar house renovations, um, uh, like we did a lot of work in uh, uh, Rosedale and Forest Hills in Toronto there <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we worked on many, many million dollar projects. So. But uh, I went to, I spent most of my time in, in the film industry though, working uh, in Toronto. Uh, it wasn't until 2005 when I moved out to Edmonton uh, when I really got uh, involved in uh, big construction. Uh, my first project was the Hart Institute, and uh, so I was a steel stud framer, um, drywaller on, on that job. And um, uh, from there, I actually went to work for a general contractor. Uh, Clark Builders, and uh, did a lot of rigging, and uh, was able to operate some cranes, um, and I was hired as a carpenter, uh, but I was I spent most of my time um, around the cranes, you know, doing the rigging and stuff like that, because I just thought it really fascinating. So, um, construction was so dangerous, uh, um, that was a really high stress uh, job, being a rigger, uh, being right downtown. Edmonton, so you had a lot of pedestrian traffic and uh, vehicle traffic that you had to worry about, right? Um, so, anyways, I uh, I spent now 15 years 
uh, no, wait, I'm sorry, um, 13 years now in just, I only, I've only done a couple film projects in the past 13 years, so the rest of it's all been major construction. So I uh, went off and I mastered how to steel stud frame, uh, drywall, insulate, uh, I can tape, uh, I can wood frame, uh, I can sheet with plywood, um, I can do concrete, uh, form it, um, I'm just learning rebar, but uh, I can form. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I'm a very good painter as well, I can tile, uh, yeah, and uh, I can shingle your roof. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I, so I'm really hands-on. Uh, I, I worked as a piece worker for a long time, um, and I'm, I'm doing, like now I just do contracts myself. Um, I got a crew that, uh, guys I hired, and uh, we just, you know, we generally just do steel stud and, and drywall. Um, I'll do the, like, the big demising walls, and uh, that's, you know, pretty much my niche right now. So uh, I don't really go in and do a bunch of interior stuff right now. Um, just because I, I just want to make this, you know, I, I need to, I need to get out of the field and into the office. Uh, my my friend uh, Stephen there, he wants me to, to uh, come and estimate for him, which would be great. Uh, I do do estimating for him right now, but uh, it's kind of from home and on the side. Um, but uh, if I get into the office, that would be that would be pretty good. Um, I really enjoy building, but it's the uh, the toll on my uh, my body that uh, it's taking its toll. So. Yeah, I'd like to just stick to the gym uh, when it comes to my working out. Um, <laughs> that's um, that would be good. Um, uh, so, anyways, I, I did. I went to Nate, and I've taken courses uh, in the construction technology program there. Uh, I've done all I've done all the gold seal courses for uh, your uh, CE, your CT, um, or your your construction project manager uh, gold seal accreditation. I, I just needed to finish my electives. I went to the ACSA and did all my courses uh, to become an NCSO, which is a National Construction Safety Officer. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I've learned a whole, I've learned a lot about construction, uh, the contracts, uh, all the different delivery um, systems, and, and um, spent most of my time working in, um, uh, you know, design, bid, build, and design and build, and some contract management. I guess uh, the, the P3 contracts, um, uh, not that I'm aware of, I don't think I've ever done any of those yet, but uh, I've seen them with the, the highways and stuff that are being built. Um, some of the schools I worked on might have been, but um, so, but anyways, that's why I know what it's like to be under these different contracts, and um, I know what it's I know what we has to be done and to get the, the project to finished on time, and uh, I know all the rules. So we, uh, yeah, we try to try our best to to be the best people we can and do the best job we can, and uh, make sure quality is always there. And uh, yeah, so I've started this YouTube channel, and uh, my my purpose for starting the, the channel uh, is to well, first it was just so I could get you know back involved in uh, with filming. Um, I really, really, really love film and television. And, my son, who is now 10, is a YouTube fanatic, and he also, shout out Ben to uh, Mr. Conco's YouTube, uh, he, uh, he's got his own channel, and so I was watching him, and I was watching him watch, you know, all this different uh, uh, YouTubers, and uh, I started thinking, you know, um, you know well, I'm going to start learning it to, uh, so I could teach him. Uh, how, how to do things. So I got my, I, um, quick study, so I picked up a book, uh, YouTube for Dummies, and uh, I read that book entirely. Um, and I, then I um, I had started a channel for a, a company um, called Tazizi uh, beginning of last year, and um, we, we tried to build that up, but um, we decided to kind of go our own ways. Um, I, my content, like I was wanting, I was putting up content too fast, too much, and I wanted to do too many different things, and uh, they, they were just, uh, they just wanted to keep their branding with the, their branding, and, um, so I, I just came and I started this channel, um, and, uh, at first I talked to the guys or whatever, and, um, they were, they are quite, they are more than happy to let me go and, uh, start my own channel, which is fantastic, thank you guys very much, uh, shout out to ZZ, um, 
so I, I got I got to mess around with the channel with their channel. Uh, we learned a, learned a bunch. And when I started my channel um, this January, um, I was I, I had quite a lot of um, uh, knowledge, YouTube knowledge, but um, I. <laughs> Just uh, scratching the surface, though, of knowledge. Um, once I started watching uh, Dan at Creator Fundamentals and um, reading all of the YouTube uh, community guidelines and all the all the documentation that they can, that they have, I started reading all of it. And um, uh, my content is now on, on a really is in a, on a good path. It's it's headed in the right direction. Um, uh, there's so much work to to be done still uh, on my channel. Uh, just with the 31 videos that I have, um, I'm constantly changing the thumbnails and the metadata and the titles and descriptions. Um, hopefully, uh, I'm going to get to a point where I've, I've mastered that, which uh, I'm still not there yet. <laughs> but uh, once I've mastered that, then I can start concentrating on putting up more videos. Uh, that uh, has certainly been taking up a lot of my time lately, uh, the learning and uh, the, the the changes to you know my channel that I've been doing. Uh, it's been taking up a lot of time, uh, so I haven't had a lot of time to produce my videos. Uh, I've been doing filming, a lot of filming, and I have a, lot of, a huge backlog of, of uh, video, but um, I want to, uh, I don't want to just start pushing and pushing and pushing and then having to come back and fix everything. Um, I, I would just want to, um, to have a, to get to a certain point and then I'm going to start putting up more video um, just so it's easier for me and uh, it's better for you, right? Um, but so anyways, back to construction. Um, uh, this is like a little bit all over, so I'm hoping that when I actually have a real live stream going and uh, we have um, more subscribers and people who want to uh, uh, do, uh, you know, who have questions, uh, I'll get the chat going up on the screen. Uh, we can do a live chat and um, just talk about uh, anything. Um, so if you guys have any ideas for a live stream, uh, just shoot me a comment and we'll set up a time and a day where we could group together and uh, talk about um, construction. Um, if you're new uh, or you're a young guy or girl um, who wants to go into the trades and is curious and has questions, uh, I'm here to answer any question you have. Uh, I'm, yeah, <laughs> I, when I was coming up, the, uh, the journeymen that I worked under were very, very, very strict and old and grumpy but um you know if you can learn to just shut up and and listen then you will be you'll do just fine you know work hard do what they say and take their advice um even if it's even if it's not if it's bad advice but um if you think there's a better way just keep it to yourself and do it your better way later you know just listen to your journeyman do what they say and um i'll tell you right now nowadays it is a lot easier to come up because uh, people aren't as tough on you that's uh, that's for sure um uh, it's um it's definitely a different time and um this the safety uh, there's a lot of safety now which is good which is great um um, but when I first started, there wasn't a whole lot of safety, so um, did a lot of dangerous things. And um, right now, I'm thankful, 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 thankful for the safety. Um, this is that's another thing too. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting up uh, on my website all um, all the safe work practices and safety, like everything, every single part of, of um, the health and safety manual that is required for your core. Um, I will have that available for free. Uh, what I want to do is put all of the safe work practices and, and all the safety documentation that I've been developing for the past um, decade <laughs> uh, up online for free uh, for you guys so that we can even edit and, and collaborate and, and just have one central place for, uh, for, for free information, for free resources. Um, safety uh, is very, very important and um, I, I worked really hard countless hours on all the documentation, but um, I feel that by giving it to you for, for free, um, it, I just safety. We have a responsibility to um, you know look out for one another, and uh, I have all this stuff uh, just sitting on my hard drive anyway. So um, I might as well just put it up online, and we can actually um, collaborate to get it all fine tuned. And uh, you can download the download the documents and customize them to your company. Uh, this would be great for smaller companies and larger companies who are missing the odd safe work practice or. Uh, who are made to have an outdated manual and uh, or you know come some companies don't have an NCSO and uh, or small piecework crews 
you know, you need to have your safety documentation, you need to have your forms, and you, you know, um, uh, and I also know a lot about the OH and its code action regulations, so, um, and if I don't know it, I know how to find it, um, we can do uh, safety talks, uh, I'll have the manual here, right here with me, and show you how to use it, um, yeah, there's a lot of things we can talk about. I can do explain the, uh, the, the construction division the specifications, right? Um, the, the, you know, the zero, 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 right? The numbers, right? Uh, the vision zero to nine, I believe, or 13, but I think we only do zero to nine. Uh, zero being the general conditions. And uh, those are generally what would be the general conditions of the contract as well. So um, I can explain contracts. We could talk. We could just talk about anything you want. Just got to let me know in the comments what you want to talk about. And we'll set it up. Uh, if I can get an audience, that would be fantastic. So I know it's going to take out some time, some work. But I'm going to be pushing in the micro quit. Uh, there's a lot of support out there. Uh, I didn't realize. Like when I first started, I was all on my own. And um, I didn't really know what I was doing. So I stumbled a little bit. But now that I found a community and, um, uh, you know, uh, like groups that, uh, you know, I'm now getting involved with, uh, I'm, it's becoming a lot easier, that's for sure, because I'm learning a lot quicker. And uh, it's uh, it's just a good feeling to, to know that you're not alone. And uh, when we're all out here on YouTube, we can actually grow uh, together, right? So, um, yeah. Uh, anyways, so, I... I don't know how long we've been going for yet, but uh, it doesn't exactly say. Um, uh, maybe I should have a timer on OBS, right? Uh, oh, it does right there. Sorry, 18 minutes and 24 seconds. So that's uh, not too bad. Um, I think I talked for the whole time, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I just, uh, I will be trying to get a, I am trying to put a store together. Uh, I'd like to have a ckvlogs.com store. And uh, what what I want to is to, I'm trying to sort of procure, like I'm trying to source out all of the newest and coolest tools. And um, I, I'm trying to get, um, you know, not some, not a, as an affiliate, but I'd like to, to I got, obviously when I'm doing this for free, I don't, I don't have uh, a lot of money to put into it. Um, not now, right? Because, uh, you know, I, I do, I work full time and uh, I have three children, young children. And, um, you know, my wife and I are very, very, very busy all the time. And, um, like, I have to get up at 5 a.m. just so I can work on YouTube, right? Um, just for those couple hours in the morning. Uh, and then I have uh, maybe an hour break between the time I'm done work and have to get the kids. Uh, I can spend working on that. And then I'm done till almost the very, very night when my wife gets back. But uh, then I'm usually too tired. But um, I'm going to try. Like, yesterday I was totally burnt out. I was... I wanted to do a video, but I, I just I just couldn't do it. Uh, so I took the advance uh, uh, or the sort of the advice of Dan, and I just didn't make a video. Right? Um, so yeah, my store. <laughs> so if you know of anyone who has a product, or if you have a product and you'd like me to do a free product review, uh, just get in touch with me or send me a, send me the product, and I'll gladly review it and uh, put the videos up on YouTube and talk about it on my Facebook page and. Um, yeah, and, and of course, they're mentioned through my website, right? Um, I'd love to start getting some partners that way. Uh, not partners, but, you know, uh, I'd like to start making some distribution deals. Uh, start getting, start starting to sell the, the products that we use even in the field, right? Like, we have our the snips, the, the, our awful knives, the whist snips, the, 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 all the clap in, uh, clamps, like, all the tools that we use for drywall and ISM. Uh, you know, I'd like to get them, like, all the stuff that we use, stay, uh, just kind of one one of each tool, no, no variety, right? So people can come, so new workers can go to the web store and say, okay, carpenter, carpenter tools, and there's just one one of each, like, nothing, the, like, the ones that we recommend, you know, that's not always going to be the, the most expensive or the cheapest, it's going to be uh, the ones that is most widely used, and, um, you know, then we go to drywall, drywaller tools. <coughs> And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking to, to build it based, based on that way. So there's a lot of work ahead of me. And um, if I can just get uh, more more traffic, more subscribers, and uh, you know, then I then I know I'm, I'm headed in the right direction. And, uh, but yeah, I'm always always open to suggestions and feedback. I really, 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 really want to uh, hear from you guys. Um, I had some early engagement from some people, uh, but it dipped off. And um, yeah. 
<laughs> excuse me, I can't do, can't go any further without another sip of coffee, but, uh, just, uh, just keep that in mind, everyone. Um, if you are watching this and you know, uh, or you have a product that you'd like me to do a review, just get in touch, and I'll gladly do that. Um, and as far as the live streaming goes, uh, just let me know what we want, what you want to talk about, and we'll, uh, we'll get online and, uh, we'll do a live stream. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Chris from Chris Conkle Vlogs. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and, uh, hit the like buttons if you like what you see. All right. Bye for now.